Recently in an oral examination, a student was asked how a ship can lose its class. The student got confused and could not answer the question properly, which showed that he lacked uh, knowledge about classification societies, who they are and uh, what is the process for the vessels classification. Uh, now, this is an important question for oral examination. So I thought I will make a video on it. Uh, because classification societies are actually non-governmental organizations that establish and maintain technical standards for the construction and operation of ships and offshore structures. Uh, I will tell you more about classification society and then how is a ship, uh, what process they go through for obtaining the class and then how a ship can lose its class. So let's get started. Now classification societies actually uh, set technical rules based on their research that confirm that designs and calculations meet these rules, uh, survey ships and structures during the process of construction and commissioning and periodically survey vessels to ensure that they continue to meet these rules. So classification societies are not only responsible for commercial vessels and ships, but also for classifying oil platforms, offshore structures, and even submarines. Uh, a classification certificate is issued by a classification society that is recognized by the proposed ship registrar and is required for the ship's owner to be able to register the ship and obtain the marine insurance. It also may be required to be produced before a ship's entry into ports and uh, waterways. Also, uh, may be of interest if a charter or uh, wants to hire the vessel or there is a potential buyer. Now, you know that ships need to maintain insurance to avoid any kind of liability or claims against its operation. So, classification society's rules become very important. Now, ships may be built in any country. Uh, to a particular classification society's rules and they are not restricted to classification by the relevant society of the country where they are built. For example, now there are many types of classification societies. Um, it's ABS stands for American Bureau of Shipping, IR stands for Indian Registry, LR Lloyd's Registry, BV is uh, Bureau Veritas from Paris, NKK is Nippon Kai Jikaiokai from Japan, Tokyo, and then we have a DL which is Dutch Lloyd from Eindhoven and then we have KR and there are many more. KR is Korean Register of Shipping. Now there are many more, many more than this as well. All right, so there, I think there are about 40, 45, 50 uh, classification societies. Uh, and uh, these are members of the International Association of Classification Societies. Now the popular ones are the ones I have shown you here. Uh, then there's DNVGL as well. And these classification societies, they actually employ naval architects, ship surveyors, uh, ex seafarers who have been sailing on um, uh, high ranks, or material engineers, mechanical engineers, and uh, they have offices all over the world. And marine vessels and structures are classified according to the soundness of their structure and design for the purpose of the vessel. And these classification rules are designed to ensure an acceptable degree of safety, stability, uh, impact on the environment, so on and so forth. So therefore, classification societies, ships can be built in any country and they can approach, the ship owner can approach a classification society of any country uh, they are interested in and they would pretty much do the same job. So you don't have to actually build a ship in Japan and then called NKK. Uh, so you can, or your, your head office could be located in Singapore, you could build a ship in Japan and call NKK. So it's up to the ship owner, of course. So uh, as the classification profession has involved, evolved, the process of the, the practice of assigning different classifications has been superseded with some exceptions. So today a ship either meets the relevant class society's rules or it does not. So as a consequence, it is either in or out of class. All right. So classification societies do not issue statements or certifications that a vessel is fit to sail or seaworthy or unfit to sail. Mainly it, it, what it issues is that vessel is in compliance with the required rules of the classification society. So classification, so what is the process of the vessel classification? So this involves right from the beginning of the construction stage. So ship designs before they even start build, building, 
they are assessed and reviewed during and after construction with a focus on the structural integrity of the vessel so of course classification society they send their surveyors they send their representatives and right from the design stage itself when the ship's design has been proposed they are involved with the process or they are involved in the process so continuous surveys are then carried out throughout the construction stage of the vessel to ensure that the vessel is meeting the required uh, rules of the classification society if it's not then modifications to the ship design are suggested and only if the ship and the ship owner fulfills the requirements of the classification society then the certificate of class is issued and details of the vessel are entered in the register of ships of course if the surveys are cleared so for that class classification society surveyor has to clear the surveys and then periodically surveys are carried out by class to ensure that the standards of construction are being maintained and additional surveys may be carried out if the vessel is reported to have poor condition of uh, structure or integrity by the port state control or flag state control so it's not that it is only a one time process this is a continuous process that goes on and masters and uh, shipping chief engineers and deck officers and engineers they have to make sure that uh, the ship is uh, maintained to the required standards so that brings me to the main question of the video today that how or why a ship could lose its class so i think by now you probably would have already understood why a ship can lose its class so uh, if the ship does not uh, meet the required standard of the rules of the class uh, the classification society may give you some time to bring the ship up to the standard or up to the rules and then if you continue not to do so they will remove their name associated with the vessel if the periodical surveys or the continuous surveys are not carried out in time or if they are carried out and the ship is failing the surveys regularly if the surveyors are not happy the inspectors are not happy or if there have been damages or accidents and these have not been reported to the classification society uh, if the vessel is being neglected to maintain to uh, the required rules in all these cases a vessel may lose its class so you've got this full time bureaucracy of surveyors and inspectors and support personnel that work for the classification society and they are all uh, their job is to make sure that the vessel uh, registered under them or classed under them are maintaining to the required rules so of course uh, you as a seafarer uh, somebody involved in the maintenance of the vessel have to know their requirements and have to make sure the vessel is up to the required standards so this is the main answer Uh, about the classification societies so especially if you are going for uh, oral examinations uh, you must know about classification societies uh, because uh, they are involved with the ship right from the design stage itself so that is why the surveyor will expect you to answer questions related to that so i hope you understood the role of classification society and what is a classification society and uh, what do they do who are they comprised of uh, how many are there and uh, what is the process that the ship goes through uh, before classification or during classification and how they can lose its class if you have any further questions concerns or queries please put it in your comment section and i'll try my best to answer it thank you for watching the video guys and all the best with your studies bye for now